Sweaty Cup and welcome to Tiger Today. Very busy 24 hours of news, so let's get stuck into it. Now, there was a poll taken in the last three or four days by the Suwan Dusit poll, asking people whether they thought it was a good idea for a political party to be set up around PM Prayut Chanachar for the forthcoming election. 59% of people said mm, no, they didn't think it was a good idea. Uh, they uh, liked the idea of having more independent parties for people to vote. Uh, but 35% of people said yes, they thought it was a good idea and supported the idea of being able to vote for PM Pro Chanachar at the forthcoming elections. All right, let's go to today's other big news stories. Some numbers out for January showing that new car registrations continue to be strong with 269,000 new cars and motorbikes added to our roads. Of these, 62% are motorbikes, 24% are sedans and 9% pickups. The Land Transport Office is also clamping down on the use of red number plates for new cars, saying new owners now only have 30 days to get their real number plates. The office says they're trying to stop criminals using the red number plates, which are more difficult to trace and see on CCTV. In the same month, the seemingly unstoppable rise in tourist numbers continued with over 3.5 million international tourists arriving in Thailand for the first month of the year, an increase of nearly 11% year on year. Revenue from January surged to almost 190 billion baht, a rise of over 11% compared to January 2017. Famous rocker Atiwara Kong Malai, better known as Toon Body Slam, has officially handed over 1.3 billion baht he raised during his epic charity marathon late last year to 11 hospitals to be used in the acquisition of necessary medical equipment. On top of the public donations, Toon and his running mates also presented 4 million baht raised from the sale of T-shirts to be given to Mai Can Hospital in Patani for the purchase of an X-ray machine. Police raided a Pattaya hotel last night and rounded up 10 Russians who claimed to be sex experts running a course on lovemaking. When police raided the hotel, they found 43 Russian tourists, both men and women, in attendance and there was quite a commotion as the officers arrived. The people running the course were charging 20,000 baht and offered a certificate for completing the class. Not sure what the measure of success was. Yet another crash on the notorious Patong Hill in Phuket yesterday after a bus suffered alleged brake failure, crashing into six cars in front of the temple at the bottom of the hill. The driver says he lost control after the brakes failed and crashed into the six cars at high speed. And whilst we're in Phuket, the main runway was closed last night between 2 and 7 a.m. and will be closed down again tonight for repairs of a few cracks that have developed in the past week. 66 flights have been affected and airport officials have organised extra passenger services to allow for a few delays. And two thieves tried to steal an ATM by dragging it out of its housing with a pickup truck in Krabi. An ATM at SCB Bank was found damaged about one metre away from its housing next to the bank. CCTV cameras show two people tied up the ATM machine with a sling, connected it to their pickup and tried to drag the machine away. It wasn't a very good solution. They eventually fled empty-handed. Well, that's all the big news stories from the last 24 hours with thanks to Thai Visa Property and also Central Festival Public House in Phuket. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. We'll be back with another Tiger today, tomorrow.